Good evening, everyone. My name is Karima Duncan. I'm currently a student here at Clayton State University, and this will be a vlog on Miss Ida B. Wells' autobiography, Crusade for Justice. And it was originally published in 1970, and it was edited by Alfreda Wells. Um, it just it's, it's really an account of Miss Ida B. Wells of her life and some of the writings that she wrote um, throughout her life and some of the events that she attended or that she wrote about. Um, just to give a little background, Miss Ida B. Wells was born in 1862 in Holly Springs, Mississippi to Miss Lizzie and James Wells. Um, they both were an impact on her life and some of the choices I believe that she made throughout her life. Um, her father was um, very strong and being independent and her mother was very religious so um the way that they um raised her was a very big impact of how and wh what she became um so let me see to give a little background of the book it gives pretty much a account on who she was um who how she grew up and the events in her life so it started off with her early life um growing up into she was born into slavery in mississippi her parents were actual slaves um she eventually had to become a caregiver for her siblings because her mother and her father passed away at a at a young age due to a sickness and she was she was actually enrolled into school and um she decided to drop out to help take care of her siblings and actually become a school teacher and um she she was not even the age that you had to be to become a teacher you had to be 18 but she was actually 16 but she wanted to make money to help take care of her um siblings um, so she eventually became a teacher and, um, you know, to help with taking care of her siblings. Um, after that, a um, couple of years later, she ended up moving with her aunt um, to Tennessee. And um, this is pretty much where it kind of started with her journey in writing and some of the events that she had to endure. So... Um, one of the events that I do want to highlight in the book, and I want to highlight it because it's uh, pretty much important because this is how she began writing her journals, was the event on the train when she was, she actually purchased a first class ticket um, on a train and they denied her her seat and they made her, well, they tried to make her sit in the only colored section which was not first class and she actually fought that and she won a settlement of five hundred dollars for that and eventually it was overturned um the the decision was overturned however she did not let that um discourage her at all in fact that was the encouragement that she needed to begin her writing so she began writing um little journals for her first for her church um newspapers and her first story was actually about that story of her being on the train and being kicked off and some of her writings eventually uh, moved to different churches and actually to different black publication but black publications uh, throughout the south and she actually was a businesswoman um to me she was a businesswoman because she ended up being a co-owner of two newspapers where she would write regularly in um so miss ida b wells was a very known activist and i would say a big contributor to our african-american struggle and trying to get rights for african-american women and men um and another event that i would like to highlight is when she wrote about the three black men that were lynched and how 
um, that really took a toll on her writing. Really, um, that's what she really started to write about was um, those events and the lynching of these black men. Um, so much so that she really made um, white folks mad about facts, what actually happened um, in that area that actually happened. And she just wrote her opinion about it and facts about it. So they got mad to the point where she, where they thought they could just snatch her up and decide to lynch her. But um, good thing for Miss Ida B. Wells um, that she was actually in a different state during the convention so they didn't even get the opportunity to to even try Ms. Ida B. Wells anyway so um very very um very smart very smart woman to me um <clears throat> so so she this book goes to highlight just different events like I stated previously about um, some of the things that she's actually been through and actually not even the things that she's been through but some of the things that has happened in the south and where she was actually in Tennessee um, and so much so that she got the attention of, um, of international feedback when she went to England to uh, speak on her work and this is kind of where the women's women's uh suffrage movement on her part started because she saw how many european women were being treated versus how they were being treated in the united states so she really wanted to adopt the idea of pretty much making women more free at the moment so she would write to her supporters to actually start organizing and being part of movements to help african-american women and men um through the fight um encouraging women to be at the top and not behind encouraging women to actually have a voice and speak up on matters that um were important at the time um miss ida b wells in the book it was it's a really good organized book because she pretty much goes from beginning to end um from the start of her her life and to the end unfortunately the end um it leaves us kind of with a cliffhanger on it because the last part of the book is um it's it's like that it's not finished however um it's okay because we got majority of the things that she actually worked on and and actually did in her life so um the book was was pretty good in organizing everything that happened in her life um and i would say that overall it was it was it was decent and a great great job with miss ida b wells of course it's a great job because most of the accounts are from her um and from her talking and writing about it herself so it was amazing to me to even um have read that because i personally personally did not really read up on her growing up like that so reading this book really opened my eyes to see how important she was and i also want to highlight too that during her writings she kind of she a little bit had some disagreements with some of the top leaders at the time, like Booker T. Washington and W.E.B. Du Bois and Susan B. Anthony. So much so that they tried to kind of, you know, a little bit discredit, discourage her and discredit to me um, her ideas and her ideology. But she was a fighter. She never stood down at all. And she was great in that area. And she told everything like it was. And the most amazing part is that she did it all by writing. It was all by writing. That is so amazing to me that she did all this by writing. But this is my vlog on the book and uh, Miss Ida B. Wells. Thank you.